Since the dawn of humanity, we have gazed upon the starry expanse above and pondered a profound question. Does the universe extend forever, or does it have an edge, a point beyond which there is nothing? This question has captivated philosophers and scientists for millennia. Today, armed with powerful telescopes, we stand closer than ever to unraveling this cosmic mystery. Ancient civilizations often envisioned the universe as finite, a dome-like structure. The Greeks contemplated the concept of infinity, debating whether space could be both boundless and finite. The invention of the telescope revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. Galileo observed mountains on the moon and moons orbiting Jupiter, shattering the notion of a small, Earth-centered universe. His discoveries, along with Kepler and Newton, laid the foundation for a new view of the cosmos, one governed by universal laws and stretching far beyond our solar system. Yet, the question of the universe's extent remains elusive. Is space truly infinite, stretching outwards forever in all directions? Or is it finite, perhaps curving back on itself like a sphere? In the early 20th century, astronomers made a groundbreaking discovery. The universe is expanding. Galaxies, the vast islands of stars scattered throughout the cosmos, are moving away from each other at an accelerating rate. This observation, coupled with theoretical work by Albert Einstein and others, led to the development of the Big Bang Theory, the prevailing model for the universe's origin. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe began as an incredibly hot, dense point some 13.8 billion years ago. In a fraction of a second, it underwent an exponential expansion, cooling and spreading out its energy. Over billions of years, this primordial soup of particles coalesced into atoms, stars, galaxies, and planets forming the universe we observe today. The Big Bang Theory provides compelling evidence for a universe that was once much smaller than it is now. But it doesn't definitively answer the question of whether the universe is finite or infinite. It's possible that the universe is finite but unbounded, like the surface of a balloon. Just as an ant could walk forever on a balloon without ever reaching an edge, the universe could extend indefinitely without ever looping back on itself. However, the Big Bang Theory did provide another crucial piece of the puzzle, the cosmic microwave background radiation. In 1964, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, two radio astronomers at Bell Telephone Laboratories, stumbled upon a faint, persistent hum in their data. This hum, they soon realized, wasn't coming from any earthly source, but from the depths of space itself. They had discovered the cosmic microwave background, CMB, a faint afterglow of the Big Bang. The CMB is a snapshot of the universe as it existed just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. At that time, the universe had cooled enough for protons and electrons to combine into neutral hydrogen atoms, releasing photons. These photons, stretched by the universe's expansion, now appear as faint microwaves across the sky. The CMB is remarkably uniform, with a nearly identical temperature in all directions. This uniformity supports the Big Bang theory, and offers clues about the universe's shape and size. By analyzing temperature fluctuations in the CMB, cosmologists infer the universe's geometry. These fluctuations reflect the distribution of matter and energy in the early universe. If the universe were finite and curved, these fluctuations would appear distorted, like images in a curved mirror. Our ability to observe the universe is fundamentally limited by the speed of light. Because light travels at a finite speed, the farther away an object is, the longer it takes for its light to reach us. This means that when we look at distant objects, we are seeing them as they were in the past. The most distant light we can observe has been traveling towards us for almost the entire age of the universe, roughly 13.8 billion years. This defines our cosmic horizon, the boundary beyond which we cannot see. The region of space within our cosmic horizon constitutes the observable universe, it is crucial to distinguish between the observable universe and the universe as a whole. The observable universe is finite, limited by the age of the universe and the speed of light. However, the universe itself could extend far beyond what we can currently observe. Imagine standing on a ship in the middle of the ocean. You can see a certain distance in all directions to the horizon, but you know that the ocean extends far beyond your line of sight. Similarly, our observable universe is just a small portion of the potentially much larger and perhaps even infinite universe. Einstein's theory of general relativity, published in 1915, revolutionized our understanding of gravity. 
General relativity describes gravity not as a force but as a curvature of space-time, the fabric of the universe. Massive objects like stars and galaxies warp the space-time around them, much like a bowling ball placed on a trampoline curves the fabric. Einstein's theory allows for different possible shapes for the universe, depending on its density and energy content. A universe with a high density of matter and energy would have positive curvature, like the surface of a sphere. A universe with low density would have negative curvature, like the surface of a saddle. And a universe with just the right density would have zero curvature, meaning it would be flat, like a sheet of paper. The shape of the universe has profound implications for its size and fate. A closed universe with positive curvature would be finite and destined to eventually collapse in on itself in a big crunch. An open universe with negative curvature would be infinite and expand forever, albeit at an ever-slowing rate. A flat universe would also be infinite, expanding forever but at a constant rate. While the question of the universe's finitude remains open, there are several arguments in favor of a finite universe. One line of reasoning comes from the concept of a closed universe, as predicted by general relativity. In a closed universe, space is curved so that if you were to travel far enough in one direction, you would eventually end up back where you started. Another argument for a finite universe comes from the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy or disorder always increases over time. If the universe were infinite and had existed forever, it would have reached a state of maximum entropy, where everything is evenly distributed and no further useful work can be done. This state, known as heat death, is a bleak prospect that seems at odds with the dynamic and evolving universe we observe. Some physicists have suggested that the universe could be finite but unbounded, like a three-dimensional analog of a sphere's surface. In this scenario, space would be finite but without any edges or boundaries. Imagine a video game world where if you walk off one edge of the map, you reappear on the opposite side. The universe could, in theory, exhibit a similar topology. Despite these arguments, the idea of an infinite universe holds a certain allure. The vastness of space as revealed by our telescopes suggests a universe of unimaginable scale. Moreover, the concept of an edge to the universe, a point beyond which there is nothing, raises more questions than it answers. What lies beyond this edge, and what prevents the universe from spilling over into this nothingness? Observations of the CMB and the large-scale structure of the universe suggest that the universe is very close to being flat. A flat universe, according to general relativity, is infinite in extent. While these observations cannot definitively rule out a slightly curved universe, they provide strong evidence for a universe that is either infinite or unimaginably vast. Furthermore, some theoretical frameworks, such as multiverse theory, suggests that our universe is just one of many, perhaps infinitely many, universes. In this view, our universe is like a bubble in a much larger cosmic foam, with other universes constantly being created and destroyed. The Hubble Space Telescope, launched in 1990, has captured stunning images of distant galaxies, shedding light on the universe's early history and evolution. The Planck spacecraft, launched in 2009, provided the most detailed map of the CMB to date, further constraining the universe's geometry and composition. These observations have also raised new questions and challenges. One such challenge is the Hubble tension, a discrepancy between different measurements of the universe's expansion rate. Measurements based on the CMB suggest a slower expansion rate than measurements based on distant supernovae. This discrepancy could point to new physics beyond our current understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. With its unprecedented sensitivity and resolution, the James Webb Telescope will peer deeper into space than ever before, observing the first stars and galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. These observations will provide crucial insights into the universe's early history and potentially shed light on the mystery of its size and shape. The question of whether the universe is finite or infinite is one of the most profound and enduring mysteries in science. Despite centuries of inquiry and remarkable technological advancements, a definitive answer remains elusive. However, this quest for understanding has yielded profound insights into the nature of the universe, its origin, and its evolution. The universe, it seems, is full of surprises, constantly challenging our assumptions and pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. As we continue to explore the cosmos, developing new theories and technologies, 
we can be certain that the universe will continue to amaze and inspire us, revealing its secrets one by one. The quest to understand the universe's size and shape is a journey without a known destination, but it is a journey filled with wonder, discovery, and the thrill of exploring the unknown.